In the broadest sense, gene therapy is the use of nucleic acids as a therapeutic entity for the treatment of disease. Uh, this represents a very novel modality of treatment that allows the treatment of previously undruggable targets. With gene therapy, we're actually addressing the root cause of the disorder rather than treating symptoms or trying to replace missing enzymes. We're actually delivering or correcting the genetic material that's necessary for the endogenous production of these uh, missing proteins. Yep. So gene therapy offers a you know, complete you know, new modality of treatment for these. And you know, with most new technologies, the first, are going, the first iterations are going to be incredibly expensive. You know, with many of these you know, therapies costing the hundreds of thousands to approaching the million dollar range. Um, according to data from the Global Genes Project, there are about 30 million patients in the United States um, who are affected by a rare disease. So some simple math shows that with 30 million patients um, being affected by these diseases, um, had a $500,000 price tag, we're quickly approaching the GDP of the country to treat these. And so the pricing we're seeing today is simply unsustainable for all rare diseases. So I, these economies of scale, now that we're seeing more and more companies enter this field, are drastically bringing down the cost both for development, production, and commercialization of these, which I think represents a great opportunity for patients in the, in the near future. One of the biggest problems restricting the um, commercialization of AAV gene therapies is simply the capacity to manufacture the virus. These are very complex biological molecules that require specialized uh, personnel, specialized um, equipment, specialized facilities to make, and we don't really have that right now. But because of the promise of these therapies coming, coming on, many companies are starting to invest in either their own internal manufacturing or co contract manufacturing for external uh, customers. While previously there were only you know, a handful of these uh, manufacturing facilities in the U.S. or in the world, they're quickly coming online to meet the increasing demand by the, these AAV gene therapies and, and other gene therapies that are coming on, online. And so I think we'll see the cost for manufacturing decrease substantially. Another, another advance that's going to bring down these costs is finally learning the, the best practices in manufacturing uh, for these viruses. Again, this is very different than small molecule manufacturing, which has been well understood uh, for decades now. Uh, this first you know, generation of AAV gene therapies, um, the field had to figure out how to do it for the first time. And the way that that was done and the way that that was proposed to the FDA was great. It had to be done the first time, but each iteration we go through will become more and more efficient as companies learn the most efficient way to manufacture these viruses, to test them for safety, and to show the FDA that, yes, these work, uh, you know, using a rationally designed you know, set of tests Rather than the kind of shooting in the dark approach that's used before to see what it would take to get it there, we're now learn we now know what it takes to get there. So we're trying to standardize the path to get these uh, gene therapies to market by, as Odelia, as a company, educating companies, um, educating academics, educating even uh, regulators on what the state of the field is and how we can find efficiencies in bringing these forward, whether that is through you know, cooperativity between companies, sharing of data, or actual instruction by the building of the Odelia playbook to show the best practices in the field to bring these forward.